Hey everyone, Queen Cat's back again. How are you? Um, I'm going to start uh, filming a few of my videos like this because it's much easier for you to get a close-up. But I want to show you this book that I have. It's a really thick book. It's the Ultimate Book of Pens. And uh, I got it in kind of ratty shape. Um, that's the dust jacket. But the book is in excellent shape. And I got it on a clearance rack. So um, this is... Uh, I guess uh, this will have to do. It's such a fantastic price, so I picked it up, and it's really thick, so it's got a lot, talks a lot about pens, but the pen I'm going to show you today is the Omos pen, and this book goes into quite a bit of detail. Actually, it has three languages uh, in this book, but it goes into quite detail about the company, about the name, uh, what it stands for. Um, that it was founded in 1925 in Italy. So it's an Italian pen. So not to spend too much time on the book, it's got some really nice colorful pictures and it's got some Omos fountain pens and then a ballpoint. This is the Omos uh, 360. It's called the Mezzo and this is the fountain pen behind it and this is the actual ballpoint. And here we go again uh, going through. This is a uh, Another fountain pen here by Omas. And then, of course, we have this one here. It's the Wooden 360. And uh, it's got snakeskin-like grain. And then Omas came out, um, like, I guess they released this pen about 16 years ago, the original pen. And then they came out with a new version. And the new version is slightly different. So here's the new version with, let's see if I can hold that up a bit. Um, you can see the lid is different. The pen is still triangular. Um, there's the fountain pen there. Sorry, it's just in the crack of the book there into the seam. And you can see it's slightly different with um, the way it is with the, um, just the way they've cut the pen now and sort of squared the top off and sort of uh, just angled the bottom off there. Um, it says the triangular 360 fits perfectly in the hand, so I'm assuming that's what they took into consideration when they designed this pen. Uh, we've got uh, just some other kind of Art Deco Omas pens. That's kind of cool. Okay, so if anyone's interested in that book, there you go. H.F. Ullman, and if you can get it, uh, the book, the ultimate book of pens, it's very thick, and voila! So, the pen today, what's that? Look at that. The 360 Omos Vintage Limited Edition. I wanted to get a fountain pen. I wanted to, well I have a, quite a few, but I wanted to get a really good fountain pen. And I wanted to get the Mont Blanc Meisterstück 146. And because they've made 146, well, because they've made the, that pen, the Meisterstück, forever, they're going to continue probably making it forever. So when I started watching videos on this um, about fountain pens, I thought, wow, this is pretty neat. And I do go to the Vancouver Pen Shop, and they happen to have one fountain pen in. Now, this pen was a re-release of the original pen that w came out around 16 years ago. And this came out in the same likeness as the one that came out 16 years ago, with the uh, exception of, I guess it's made out of cotton resin now, and it's uh, a demonstrator-style pen. It's see-through. And I went into my pen store, and they had one. And I know it came in two colors. It came in the blue, and it came in the red. And I knew which color I wanted, and I happened to look at it. But I didn't buy it that day because I thought, you know what, I want to get the Mont Blanc pen. And I came, went home and I thought about it, and I thought, you know what, even the lady at the pen store said, uh, that pen will always be around, the Mont Blanc. This pen, no, they only made 360. Now, I don't know if they only made 360 in the blue and the red, or if they made... Um, 360 blue or 360 red. So if anybody can tell me, uh, maybe S-B-R-E Brown, my pen guru, if he knows if um, the exact number of pens um, in each color or if it's 360 in all of them, I would like to know or any of you pen people. So let's get to it. 
here it is it comes in a nice silver box with a, like a sleeve it says made in Italy and I'm sitting behind the camera so let's see it's probably not gonna focus too well on that so basically it says uh, FP 360 fountain pen 360 uh, res red rod FK uh, this happens to be number 281 of the 360 produced so that's pretty exciting and I want to open it from this end so this is just the sleeve that the pen comes in and we pull out the box so remember this is the re-release of um the pen oh my goodness this is a i've been using this pen but i don't know i don't normally keep it in the sleeve so let's just pour it out there we go okay so here's the box i was trying to pull on this <laughs> the nails come in handy not so it says omos handcrafted in italy since 1925 and we just lift the lid off and inside the lid has a little note and it says Italian creativity, history, craftsmanship, the pleasure of writing. And that's in kind of a velour-y, velvety um, texture, which is really nice, which happens to be the same texture of the box. It's in a sort of a velveteen uh, texture. And uh, it came with a bottle of red ink. So this is the Omos red ink. And now the girl at the store said uh, she wouldn't advise me using this ink because ink does expire. And she said they don't know how long it's been in the bottle. I mean, they may have had the pen for six or eight months because it came out, it its re-release date was in 2012. But uh, she said, yeah, you might not want to use it. So as nice as they are, they gave me three free bottles of whatever kind of ink I wanted. I always get these great people. So I chose the Mont Blanc Royal Blue, which is what's in this pen now. I did have a really vibrant purple. I think it was from Waterman. I'm not sure if it was or not. Um, but it's just, oh my God, it's such a yummy, delicious color. But I wanted a blue and I wanted a nice blue. So that was, that was a good ink to choose. So here's the pen, but I want to show you what is inside this little velveteen kind of box here. It's uh, it's just a just a plain old box that's fully sealed, and in the bottom came the pen that uh, the little slip that the pen was in with the Omos and the number and it was a fine pen so anyone who knows me knows that I like the fine pens so here we go this is sort of a little certificate uh, that's written in Italian uh, possibly Chinese or Taiwanese or Korean and it says dear customer congratulations on your purchase um, of a precious Omos writing instrument. Possible ink traces on the product are not manufacturing fault, but the guarantee that your product has been tested and certificated, certificated, pardon me, by our quality control department. Thank you again for choosing one of our products. So that's nice. You're very welcome for me choosing that. Then it comes with an Omos 360 vintage limited edition little brochure. And it tells you about the collection that glamorizes the famous triangular model in a modern and fashionable way. Uh, this is the 2012 version, the transparent cotton resin in the audacious deep scarlet red and the shining HT trim make this limited edition extremely unique and distinctive. Uh, the original horizontal ribbed pattern engraved in the, on the cap and the pen's triangular section on the 18 karat gold nib emphasize the triangular shape unique of its kind, symbol of Omas style. Uh, numbered and limited edition of 360 fiston, oh, sorry, piston filled fountain pens and 360 rollerball pens. Uh, also available, uh, the set is composed by fountain pen and rollerball only on demand. So it says here that it's numbered and limited edition 360 piston filled. I'm going to assume that that's of both colors. And I will show you my color in just a second. It also comes with the uh, little book here. 
and uh, it tells you a little bit about the Omos company and uh, everything you need to know and then mine was stamped uh, by where I bought it and it's all numbered so this is for warranty purposes so it comes in a nice little brochure and then the box and that's it and it's a nice little box like it's a lovely showcase but I don't keep um, my pen in here because I want to use my pen I don't buy things to never use them I buy things to use them so let's get to the pen the pen comes in a nice little uh, pouch sort of velveteen or velour ish uh, it's got Omas written on it and there it is she, she is red so it is the scarlet color yes and my pussycat is sitting right there on the table so you can see it here uh, there's my hand it is a fairly good sized pen and uh, you can see it's triangular shape which absolutely fits very comfortably in the hand and you can possibly see the little Greek key every now and then my my um, camera likes to focus but perhaps not today yeah I don't know let's see if it focuses that way no so anyway on the on the uh, lid you can see the Greek well you probably can't sorry about that the Greek key it's got a Greek key uh, look to it and it has another sort of um, ribbon of silver going around it's got a sort of a texture um, like ribbing that's what's making that noise my nail running across the ribbing you can kind of see it there and it has a nice clip and I don't use the clip but it is quite tight but I don't use the clip for anything I keep it when I put it in my purse it goes in here and then it goes in a uh, case as well just in case it drips so here is the piston filled end this is the actual item or sorry the the tip that you would turn to draw to push the ink out and to you would turn it the opposite way and it would pull the ink out of the bottle from which you are filling so there it is and let's open her up here and I am by no means, as you can tell, a fountain pen expert or a pen expert. <laughs> and so um, please bear with me. Uh, it was just such a lovely pen that I just wanted you all to see it. Um, it's going to be a shame that I'm going to have a problem trying to do a close-up on this pen because it is, it is really quite, quite lovely. Now, I don't think that it will focus... Um, which is quite a shame. I don't know how I got my camera to focus before. So I'll, I'll tell you what's what's going on here. Um, it is in that triangular shape. This is an 18 karat gold nib. On the nib, it says Omos 18K and it has F on it for fine. And there's also a little design on the tip, which, uh, oh, it's such a shame I can't show you. I wonder if I can um, wonder if I can grab it out of my book and see because it's really kind of a, a nice thing to to look at. But I don't know if my book will offer that lovely close up here. It might. I might be able to show you the nib. Sorry about that. No, the pen's not open, of course. Uh, let's see if I can. So the nib kind of, well, it doesn't have that picture on it anymore. Um, there's another picture. No, it's not going to work. Sorry, guys. Um, so anyway, you can see down here the, it's got, I don't know what this, this is the feed. I think it's called the feed for the ink. It sits in behind there. And you can see, um, you can see the piston through there oh my goodness the kitty's going to meow today don't mind him and you can see the the piston in here the filler hey Bentley Shh. 
and you can see um, you can really see right through the pen unfortunately with this lighting which is on to full capacity uh, it's not really doing the pen justice um, but you can kind of see it there but the the nib is the best part it's it's my first 18 karat gold uh, pen nib and uh, this is the most expensive pen I have if anybody wants to know how much this is I mean you can find it online but here it, I have it posted and uh, it's very it's very long but it's extremely comfortable so this is how it fits in my hand and for me the nib happens to be at a good position for writing for me and uh, so just just the way it happens to to sit on the paper let me pull this back this way here just the way it happens to sit as I write like a lot, some people like their pen to be like this but you can't hold that pen that way you have to hold it the way it's designed where it's flat on the bottom for your finger and um, just the way you grab it like that so I really like this pen um, it's just got a nice, easy, don't mind my terrible writing here, uh, easy um, flow to it. It's got quite a bit of flex. Uh, it is a fine point, so we'll do some downward strokes and then some cross strokes. Um, it, it does have, you know, if you want to have those... Um, thicker lines as you as you write uh, it does have some of that uh, but being a fine point it's only got so much give but it is a very 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 smooth pen and and I'm using the Rhodia paper um, it is it is quite a wet pen so if you are writing on like um, Filofax paper, it's gonna soak right up and you're gonna go through lots and lots of ink. Um, yeah, so I mean, I'm sorry I'm not a real pen expert, but if, this is just a fantastic pen and you can see around um, here in this area, the there's a Greek key um, pictures all the way around and there's another ribbing of silver on on the tip and I usually post this pen anyway when I write um, so I'm really really happy that I got it uh, there I think I haven't seen anywhere else that in the pen shops down here that carry them you can find them on eBay they are still very expensive and it don't be afraid afraid to use your pen use your pen um, and enjoy your pen and I don't know if you'd want to take one of these. I take this out with me all the time, but I know that I'm not leaving my bag anywhere. But but do enjoy, you know, this spectacular pen if you can find one. It does come in that uh, wonderful blue color, but most of my subscribers know I'm not a real fan of the color blue, which I'm trying to get over. Uh, but it, it is a fabulous shade of blue. I was just lucky enough to find one and it was in the scarlet color scarlet <laughs> scarlet color and it is uh, a fine nib which is what I really enjoy writing with um, I have another pen uh, to do but I'm gonna do this one and post it up today if I can uh, like I said do check out uh, the Omos 360 review by SBRE Brown he has a very witty sense of humor and I enjoy his videos and he can give you a more geeky description of everything so thanks for watching guys uh, take care peace and we'll talk to you real soon bye bye